Good evening. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Alguien me lleva a pasar en moto. Good evening, everybody. Can you listen to me? Hello, hello. Hello, Lorena. Hello, Ingrid. Hello, Katherine. Jacqueline. Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you please open the microphone? Because I don't listen to you. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Andrea. Griselda. Margarita. Karen. Hello, teacher. Henry, good evening. Juan Antonio. Glenda. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Lorena. Hey, what's going on? Do you listen to me, people? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Hello, hello. Do you listen to me now? Yes. Okay, yes. Okay, now, yes, yes, yes. now I, I can listen to you. Okay, so now, now we are talking. Okay, so welcome to the English class. Say hey, today is Wednesday. Uh, well, you know, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we're going to be working, right? Well, I can see Lorena. Hey, Lorena, you should be careful with that motorcycle. And uh, well, we're gonna start. Hey, Helen says, "Good evening." Oh, okay, okay, Helen, I got it. Okay, we're gonna start with the class. Okay, we're gonna talk a little about about a message that you have for everybody, something new that you have learned in English. We're going to start by asking to Henry Vladimir. Henry Vladimir, what's new in English? Henry, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sobre lo que he aprendido ahora. Ya. Yeah. What's new in English? New word, new, new expression, vocabulary, pronunciation. Uh -huh. just, just say it. Henry, are you there? Well, Margarita, we will continue with Margarita. Meanwhile, uh, Henry solved his problem. Okay. Uh, well, today I am was here for work, and this is a way uh, okay. falls inside. Uh, yeah, special case the uh, la a uh, uh, way growing and for second uh, for example the dog is for second on dogs yeah. okay pretty good margarita thanks for sharing thanks for sharing margarita okay. okay thank you very much thanks for doing your best well, let's see. Hey, Griselda. 
Good evening. Good evening. Este, yo sinceramente he estado lo que es estudiando lo que dejó ayer, eh, obviamente en inglés, ¿no? Donde mm -hmm. dijo los possessive pronoun y los possessive adject, adject, uh, que, ajá, que por ejemplo eh, están lo que es my, own you, his, her, is, y de igual manera están en los adjectives, pero sin ese, algo así, estuve lo que es viendo, que hay como, están algunos que realmente tiende a parecerse, se puede decir, y aquí tenía también los mismos, lo único que decía de que en los pronom, pronom, algo así, no se le coloca lo que es la, la, la S. Okay. En algunos casos al final. Ok, so, but now you have a clearer idea. Later on, uh, you are going to um, clarify doubts, but, you know, we need to practice a lot, right? so that you can see the difference clearly between possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, possessive noun case. Okay, well, tonight we're gonna talk about it. Thank you very much. Thank you, you're very kind. Uh, Juan Antonio, what's new in English? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I, I learned, I learned uh, four, words um, for example shorter um, shorter he's shorter than his brother he's uh, um, como se dice oración sentence he's shorter than his brother and sentence words and center um, dark she has dark hair um, bank excuse me where is the bank summer we don't play in the summer um, different her eyes are different colors five words teacher fantastic Juan Antonio hey continue learning new words new sentences hey, Juan Antonio and you will see how uh, much uh, knowledge you are going to acquire. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay, teacher. Well, um, I am studying verbs to, uh, to better you understand from the sample. Uh-huh. Um, Perdón, que tengo a mi hijo ahí de fondo. Ok, no te preocupes. Smile, sleep, um, eat, um, stool, uh, walk, jump. ¿Tú find verbs? Ok, so you, were, you have been practicing verbs in English. Ok, that's, that's fantastic also. Ok, jump. See, hear, study, etc. We have a lot of verbs. Okay, so it's a good time for you to, to start learning verbs in English. Jose Angel, what's new? Thank you, Rebecca. Jose Angel, what's new in English? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Uh, the words I learned today are family and about. Family in a sentence. Um, I love my family. We love my family. And about in a sentence, I read a book about music. It's our teacher. Great. Okay. Two sentences, two new words. Enough. Pretty good. If you study or if you get two new words daily, the, that's really, really nice. Two, four, six. Well, it all depends on how much uh, do you want how much time do you want to study English? 
Okay, let us listen to Glenda. Glenda Montiel, are you there? Yes, teacher, but uh -huh. I'm staying in the hospital with my children. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it. Okay. No, that's okay. Okay, thanks for letting me know about it. Okay. Mm, well, Ingrid, what's new in English? Good evening. Este, yo estaba viendo lo de activities. Eh, study, read, swim, room. Y que cuando eh, ya se eh, con el presente Ay, se me olvida, pero que ya conjugado con el verbo se le agregaba un ing. Entonces, jump era jumping, eh, study era studying y algo así. Ok, so, hey, actually, let me say, I think tomorrow we're going to start with present continuous English. I in the form of verbs like sing, singing, drinking, uh, watching etc right so okay and tonight we're gonna talk about possessives in english but before going to that part let's see the last participant jose fernando what's new in english good evening everybody good evening <clears throat> uh, yo estoy practicando los números mm -hmm. uh, y supe que los para decir Cien es thousand. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Yeah. One hundred. Yo me confundí. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, doscientos, trescientos, four hundred, y six hundred. Y todos los números generales, los treinta, thirteen, fourteen, digamos, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and the activities of the platform as well. Same with the ING, adding it in the present continuous. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for sharing such important information. Thank you, Jose Fernando. Okay, so, well, as I said before, the most important part of this activity is that you uh, take some minutes from your uh, daily activities to to include English, right? English, so that you can learn a new word, a new expression, uh, some or get new pronunciation. Well, everything is important in English, right? So well, we're going to start. And the topic for tonight is about possessives. You mentioned them. Okay, remember this week you are in charge of working in the activities in the platform. Okay, all the activities in the platform are important. The topic for tonight, possessives. Okay, so I will try to introduce the topic by seeing the, the video that the platform presents. Okay, pay special attention. Later, I will try to include more information that I have just um got him from the internet and i think we're gonna have a great time learning something new oh here pay attention to the first part of the class Oops. okay here we go give me a second please Now, yes, here we go. The... Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that 
conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out and as you can see the object is at the beginning 
not at the end as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. Okay, I will pause it. And we're gonna have some review about what this card has already presented. It happens that we have different possessives, right? So indeed we have possessives, possessive adjectives, and we also have possessive pronouns. And there, there are there is a difference between them. And also we have possessive noun case, the possessive noun case. So we have three forms to talk about possessions. And the first example the guy presented is like these are his socks. What is this? This is possessive adjective. The object is socks. This is the, the object, right? This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is your umbrella. And this is a car. The object is the car. So here is another possessive adjective. All right, so don't worry because we're gonna talk a little bit about every single um, topic that's in the, in the presentation or in the video here. Now, what's coming now in English? Juan Antonio, any question? Eh, sí, teacher. About the video, Juan Antonio? En realidad, no, no. Eh, sí, del video. En realidad, okay. teacher, no entiendo el, el cuando uso, por ejemplo, el my y el mine. Ok. Eh, no, no logro entender esa parte. Teacher. Okay, don't worry because I have some extra information that can be very useful for you. Okay, now and actually I will share the link so that you can have um, the access to see the same information I'm just presenting here. You see, well actually I will, I will try to share all the links at once. This is the info that we are starting tonight. Just in case you wanna see the information. Well, as I was just saying, Antonio, well, this page is, or provides um, a clear uh, um, information about possessives, okay? We have possessive adjectives and possessive nouns, a possessive pronouns, okay? And as you can see, it says that possessives are like my, mine, my, mine, your, yours. His, his, her, hers, etc. So, but what really matters to me is that you can see like some examples here. Like I have a pet, so his pet is, or so this pet is mine. What is this? It is possessive. Mio. Yeah, 
But we're talking about possessive pronoun. Okay, so this is regarding to possessive pronoun. Look at the possessive adjective. In the possessive adjective, then you have, this is your problem, your problem, not my problem. Okay, so in, in, over here, you have a noun. Problem is a noun. Okay, and just before that, we have an adjective. Your problem, my problem. Look at the meaning. Okay, and this is like, like the main difference, right? So first, as you can see, the meaning, all right? Another, and uh, uh, something else that you need to notice about it is the, the, the position that they take. Okay, so let's see more examples. Entonces las poses adjetivas son como situaciones. Podría decir. Mm, yeah, but situations about about possession. Los poses adjetivas. Ajá, uh -huh. it's about possession, right? So both are about possession. And the possession in the sentence. Yeah. So, but la posición en la oración, entonces. Pero, Sorry. Es, es la posición en la yeah. oración lo que mm. determina la diferencia, entonces. Position and meaning. Ah, en meaning. 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 Yeah, meaning and position. Mm. Okay, I can see Juan Antonio. I don't know. There, there's something. Someone raises his hand. Who wants to participate? Or if you have any question, now is the time. Well. The, the other example, please, teacher. Yeah, just right now. We have mm -hmm. more examples over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, this is a chart in which you can see perfectly the way that we call different, different parts of a sentence. Like for example, this one are called Post, uh, personal pronouns or subject pronoun. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And later we have the possessive adjective. So, but why do we have like in the same level or, the, or why do we see them in order? Well, because if you are using uh, the subject pronoun I, the possessive adjective <laughs> for it is my. And the possessive pronoun that you need to use is mine. But it all depends on the message you want to, to, to say, right? So in the next one, we have your possessive personal pronoun, possessive adjective, your possessive um, pronoun, yours, etc. right? So, Teacher, ¿será que hay relación más que todo que los posesive adjectives tienen que ver con algo abstracto? No, 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 no exactamente. Quizás eh, como tratar de definir eh, en qué momento se utilizan, porque, por ejemplo, eh, no sé si en algún momento se utilizan los posible pronoun cuando es algo de, de uno, es propio, de propiedad o en alguna situación o tiene que ver mucho en la estructura en la que uno eh, va a decir eh, la oración. Entonces, como que en qué momento se utiliza más que todo, creo que eso es. Ok, now, how, que... how do we use uh -huh. them? Ok, now you have the information here and, and as you can see, it's in Spanish, right? Later, you can see the info by your own, right? So, but it says that the possessive adjectives are used mainly to indicate that something belongs to somebody. They ah, are. Uh -huh. ah, so, cuando es de alguien. Exactly. 
y el otro es cuando es como una situación. No, I mean, it, it belongs to somebody the same, but but you will see the different because it's, there is a slight difference. But it says it also, or they, we also use them to express relationship or uh, with some, or about relationship like uh, friendship um, at work and so on, right? Or the parts of the body. Now, you will see it. It's because later we're going to see the pronoun. Tell me. Exactly. But we, uh -huh. we, it also, the possessive pronouns. But over here, what you need to notice is that, for example, you have possessive adjective and before the possessive adjective, what do we have? You have a noun. You have a noun. Okay. You see, my collection, collection is a noun. Your daughter, daughter is a noun. So you have adjective, noun. But what about in the, in the pronouns? In the pronouns, you know, pronouns, Give me a second. In the pronouns, you will notice that the, the possessive pronoun will be at the end. As you say, Mary has a hat. What is this? This is a noun, right? Uh, in other words, este es un nombre común. Cuando, cuando utilizamos el pronombre y decimos hers, eso quiere decir el sombrero es de ella. Okay. Mary tiene un sombrero. Ese sombrero es de ella. Hers. Cuando decimos hers, ya sabemos que hers está hablando del sombrero. Por eso es pronombre posesivo de ella. Pero si nos vamos al possessive adjective, a los adjetivos posesivos, vamos a darnos cuenta que Primero tenemos el, el, el adjetivo posesivo y después tenemos un nombre. Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, yo tengo una pregunta en eso que usted acaba de decir. No podría decir her. ¿Por qué eh... dice hers? ¿Por qué tiene la S al final? Yo entendía que quizás hers era porque era en plural, pero ahí está hablando de una cosa, porque está hablando del sombrero de ella. Entonces, ¿pero por qué dice hers? Eso me, me, me confundió porque yo pensaba que eso era plural. No, no. Es que tenía la S final porque era plural. No, no. So, podemos decir lo mismo de dos maneras. Da hat is hers. Ese sombrero es de ella. Entonces también podemos poner <coughs> Ahora, eso es lo que quiero que comprendan. Que no es que uno, o sea, ambos, ambos hablan de posesión. Uh, that hat is hers. Okay, hers is the possessive pronoun. This one, right? Possessive pronoun. But this one, that is her hat. ¿Estamos diciendo lo mismo? Sí. Solo que acá estamos utilizando un adjetivo posesivo. Y si ustedes se dan cuenta, eh, cuando tenemos el adjetivo posesivo, tenemos que tener el nombre acá, pero se llama adjetivo posesivo. Pero cuando tenemos el pronombre, entonces ya decimos that, that hat is hers. Ese sombrero es de ella. Ese es su sombrero, su de ella. Ese sombrero es de ella. Quizás por ahí viene como un poquito la confusión, pero... Uh, podemos decir la misma oración de dos maneras, utilizando pronombres posesivos o adjetivos posesivos. Ok, con la práctica lo van a ir este, identificando mejor. So, but in something else that you need to keep in mind is that, uh, well, I, I, I already shared this, okay, this, this uh, link 
so that you can notice the difference. Hey, this is my car. This car is mine. This is lo mismo, si o no? Sí. Es, la, es el mismo mensaje. Básicamente. Sí, sí verdad. Yeah. Solo yeah. que sea en uno yeah. utilizamos yeah. adjetivo posesivo y en el otro ocupamos posesivo prano. ¿Ok? Y otra okay, cosa. Uh, acá, si se dan cuenta, el, el, el nombre está, está antes del pronombre pero acá el nombre está después del adjetivo posesivo o sea eso es lo que debemos debemos lograr este uh, aplicar y lograr este comprender al 100% now let us listen remember that possessives are like my your his her it's etc and that we have possessive Pronouns and possessive adjectives. And now we are just gonna we, we get to the to the chat itself. Uh, once again, ese, ese cuadrito es clave también para, para no confundirnos con, con los possessive adjectives y los possessive pronouns. As you can see, say my possessive adjective, but possessive pronoun, mine. Their possessive adjective, theirs possessive pronoun. Your possessive adjective, yours possessive pronoun. Now look at this one. It's possessive adjective, it's possessive pronoun. Uh, his is the same, right? His. So, but it all depends. So we're going to continue like seeing some more. As I told you in the past, my collection, your daughter, possessive adjectives. Um, that had its hairs. Uh, yours is there. Los dos son possessive pronouns. Now we're going to try to practice, okay? Because this info, I think, this info is enough. We're going to try to practice a little bit. Vamos a practicar un momento. Let's see. You know, possessives. Okay. What are we going to do? In the link, do me the favor to solve the exercise in the link. Okay. Les voy a dar siete minutos para que resuelvan los, los ejercicios de este enlace, ¿ok? Yo voy a quedarme calladito durante cinco o siete minutos, a menos que ustedes tengan alguna consulta y lo resuelven. Ya luego alguien nos lo va a ir compartiendo, ¿ok? So you have seven minutes. Seven minutes. What are you going to practice on here? Possessive adjectives. Teacher, el link que acaba de poner... Yes, please. It's the same. You have seven minutes. Siete minutos, porque tengo un par de ejercicios más. Ay, Dios, qué lento está lento.
Okay, we're gonna start with the first because of the time, right? We only have like 15 minutes more in like, can you do me the favor to tell me the number one, Juan Antonio? Um, la primera no, le, no la contesté, teacher. No, no, le, no, no. le entendí. Thank you. Uh, Karel? Number one. Eh, ahorita. Teacher, prover, uh, um, I don't know the time because I can find. My watch. Ah. Sí. Eh, I don't know the time because I can find my watch. No, look at it. I don't know the time because I can find. My, if we see the chart, if we see the chart, sure. If we see the chart, we will notice my, that my teacher that for my, my my we need to use my my it's my my es, okay. Es justo lo que dije. My. my yeah my exactly now but why do I um. Why do I mention it? Because you have watch. My watch. And remember that you have a noun. And if you are asked to, to provide a, a, a possessive, that possessive needs to be my. Object. Why? Because my. you have I over here. Mm -hmm. I, my. Okay. You got it? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay so let's see. Yes. I think it's becoming My clear, word. right? Ya se está volviendo un poquito más claro el asunto, okay? Okay, I don't know the time Correct. because I can find my watch. Number two. My watch. Number two. Uh, now, yes, Juan Antonio. Is... Uh, hmm. What's my name? His, his, his name. No, but tell me the whole statement, His please. name. Tell me the whole statement. What? What's the boy's name? What's the boy's His name? His name is Ben Scott. Exactly. Now you, now you know His that. His name. That you know ben that. Scott. You know it's a boy, right? So that's what you say. Yes. His, His name, name is Ben Scott. Is Ben mm. Scott. Yeah. Number three, Rebecca. Um, Debbie has got a cat. It's a cat very liberty. Mm, you say it, but what do you have here? Well, let's analyze this. Because you have Debbie, right? Debbie is the name. What is the pronoun for Debbie? Ah, eh, no, pronombre. She. 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 Y si vamos al chart. Eh, she. Her. Her. ¿Cuál es el que necesitamos usar? Her. Ah, Her. ok. Her. No, yes, right? Now you got my point. No, here. Car is very lively. Number four, uh, let me see, Goretti, please. The dog is very cute. Dog is very, your name, cute. No, let's say your name, no. It's, it's my uh, name. It's because we're talking an animal, right? Uh, yes, yes. His, his name. His it's, name is Ben. Its name is Ben. It's yeah. 
So is it because we have an animal? It. It. Possessive adjective? It's. It's. Okay, we are at school. We. We are at school. Mm -hmm. We are at school. Possessive adjective? Our. Our. Our school is very nice. Good. Now, once We're again, nice. I have a new laptop. I. Andate muy lentamente para allá, que Max no te sigue. I have a new laptop. My, 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 my laptop is I white. I'm from Seattle. Most. I'm. It's the same. I am. I. I am from my. Seattle. My, my friends are from Seattle. My friends. My friends. Mm -hmm. Most of my friends are from Seattle. The rabbit. An animal. It's white. The rabbit is rabbit white. Is it? It's 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 white. Now you got it, right? Garden. It's cage. It's, it's cage. It's in cage. the garden. It's in the garden. garden. Now Sandra and Jenny. Now we have two people over here. What is the pronoun? What is the pronoun for Sandra and Jenny? They. 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 They are they. friends. Possessive adjective. Yeah. You say they possessive they. adjective. They. No, no, no. If you have they possessive adjective, is there? There. Okay. Oh. Their school is in the city center. There. Miller's Their school is in the city center. Now look at the Millers. Have a new car. There. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. There. Car is blue. Emma yeah. Peel yeah. has got a brother. Emma. Hair. Huh? Hair. 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 Her name is Paul. Her name uh, is uh, Paul. Uh, 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 no. Give me a second. This, 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 there is a problem on here. Ah. Emma ah. Peel has got a brother. So he's talking about the yes. brother. No. His no. name no. is. His name. His name is Paul. Nick Baker has a sister, Debbie. Her, her yeah. name is Debbie. Her name is Debbie. Yes, we have a dog. It. 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 We. We have we. Our. It. Uh, our dog our. is very old. Our. Old, 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 is very old. The boys have got a third tries. Its name is Trundle. Its name, name is Trundle. Suddenly, the children Trundle. see an old man. Their grandfather. Suddenly, the children see an old man. It's their very grandfather. Good. It's their... their grandfather. Grandfather. Well, we have missing, we're missing like four. Aunt Mary is sitting at the table. Peter feels hair. Her glass we choose. We take the guitars and start to play it. Our, our, our music, music is great. Captain Clark drives a yellow sport car. It's his. It's his car. His. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> it's his car. And number nineteen, Tom and Rover like fish and chips. It's are. We have two people, right? Tom and Robert. Oh. There. 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 The fair we cannot come on Saturday. It's we. Our. Our, right? Our. It's so we can, we can check it. Uh, hello? Birthday. Yeah, now you see, right? So 
It, it's a quite good now possessive adjectives, it's all right. So we're gonna try to finish with this. So we have, well, this is the sequence, right? Personal pronoun or subject pronoun, possessive budget. What is the possessive mm, possessive pronoun here? I, right. my? Mine, mine. Mine. Good. Yo, your? Yours. 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 He, his? His. It's the same, right? She, her? Hair. Hair. Hairs. We. Our. Ours. 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 Very good. You. Yours. 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 Their. Their. Yours. They. Their. Theirs. 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 Okay, now Yours. we identify them, right? In order to finish, because I think we still have like five minutes more. Just to finish. We have, uh, sorry. We have, uh, uh, you actually are in charge of choosing from possessive adjective or possessive pronoun. And we have, is this cup? What's missing here? Que hace falta? Your, um, your. Is this cup? This cup is yours. Okay, is this cup yours? Your. Yours. Yours. Mm -hmm. Is this cup yours? You can check it down here, right? Yours. Okay. The coffee mm -hmm. is? Mine. Mine. The coffee is mine. Mine. That cup is? Mine. 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 He lives in here house. He lives in he actually her, 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 her. He lives her house. Hers. 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 Her. 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 Ya no coincide porque acordémonos uh -huh. que aquí tenemos un nombre. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces no podemos este tener un pronombre antes de un nombre. Ah, okay. Entonces, veamos. Okay. Her. Her. <coughs> He lives in her house. Teacher, pero una, una pregunta. ¿Por qué her, her no solo es este cuando se refiere a femenino y ahí dice he está hablando de él ah, ah no ok pero es que eso tienen que tener claridad también por eso es que se ven un poco un poco tricky ¿por qué? porque dice él vive en la, la casa, casa de ella <risa> pero no tiene el apóstrofe ah. Ah, ajá <risa> No, claro, porque este el mensaje es que no siempre va a ser que si aquí dice he, vamos a usar his. Por eso es que aquí ni uh -huh. siquiera nos pone his, ¿ve? Uh -huh. ¿Ve? Por eso, pues, ah, o sea, él vive en la casa de ella. Ah, eh, eh, va a ser con eso. Ajá, entonces, este, por sí. eso necesitamos como ir, inventar oraciones e investigar. Eh, o ver los, los enlaces, hacerlo una otra vez. De tal modo de que nos quede muy claro, ¿verdad? El mensaje. Porque acá, si nosotros seguimos lo que dice el, ch el chart, el cuadrito este, ya no nos pega, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ahora, el ejercicio, si esto no tuviera nada de esto, entonces sí pudiéramos poner his. Uh -huh. Él vive en la casa de él. Uh -huh. Ah, vale, pero entonces toma un significado diferente. Uh -huh. Pero como aquí ya nos dan las dos opciones, ya descartamos este porque sabemos que de, antes de un nombre no podemos tener un pronombre. Uh -huh. Entonces tiene que ser obligadamente, tiene que ser el adjetivo. Pues ese vaya. Y allí a la oración tiene sentido porque él vive en la casa de ella. Uh -huh. Ok, so, okay. you might want... 
Your. Your, right? Ahora sí. Your phone. Your phone. Oops. Let me see. The new car is? Theirs. 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 She cooked. Our. Our. Food. Our food. Don't stand on. My. 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 Right? My food. She gave him hair. 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 No, hair. No puede cold. ser hair. No, hair. así no puede hair. ser. Hair uh -huh. suitcase. She gave him hair. Hair suitcase. Tenemos I'm... el nombre. Suitcase. I met. There. 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 The mother. Is this? Coffee? There. 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 Is that? Is the, is the flat? Hairs. 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 Is the flat hairs. Uh, Etc. Right. So you can, you actually, you have like 20 or more than, than that. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, son varios ejercicios que ustedes pueden terminar. Ok, now, preguntas al respecto. Todavía quedó un poco claro o todavía se lo miran un poco confuso. No, a, eh, a little bit. A, a, a little bit. Aclaró, okay. aclaró un poco y lo, lo que yo les recomiendo es que, eh, de hecho, quiero ver, tienen una tarea para, para el viernes que nos vamos a encontrar. Este, nos van a contar una historia. La pueden inventar ustedes o la pueden buscar en la web. Esa historia tiene que tener las tres cosas que hemos visto ahora. Los possessive adjectives, los possessive eh, noun y el possessive pronoun. Esas tres cosas debe tener, eh, si es posible, hasta unas dos, tres veces eh, en, 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 la, en la historia que nos van a contar. ¿Ok? No, no tiene que llevar los posesivos. Que... Los posesivos tienen que ir en esa historia que nos van a contar. Y no. de hecho, les solicito que las tengan preparadas en un documento Word para que todos vayamos también viendo lo que ustedes han identificado. ¿Ok? Eso es para el día no. viernes. Ok. Adjective. 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 ¿Podría repetir que se me fue la señal un poquito? Bueno, es una historia que nos van a contar el día viernes en donde ustedes van a, a incluirle los posesivos. Uh -huh. y si, pueden, pueden crear la historia o la pueden buscar en la web. Uh -huh. Si la buscan en la web y notan que no tiene los posesivos, deben ustedes um, incluir los posesivos de alguna manera en esa historia. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, gracias. Respecto a, lo, a los ejercicios de la sección 4, um, yo traté de, de avanzar, pero no sé si es porque no hemos visto esa área todavía, pero no me, no me tomaba ninguna respuesta. En la, en la plataforma, Rebeca. Ajá, sí. Mm, es de los posesivos, es de los posesivos siempre. Mm, no. El reloj. Ah, el reloj. Bueno, no se preocupe porque de igual manera los vamos a chequear al momento que lleguemos. Mm. Ok. Mm. Sí. Ya tiene la respuesta. O sea, sí. También uno de los posesivos, he probado con todas las respuestas y ninguna agarra. De acuerdo, uh -huh. entonces lo vemos mañana si les parece como... Este... Están Fischer. hablando de la parte del reloj, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá. Es que son ¿Es? dos respuestas, dos respuestas son las correctas. No, yo pruebo con las cuatro sí. y no dejo. No, no, este, son dos, si se notan, hay una parte en que dice un cuarto para la hora y la sí. otra en que toma los dos. 
Yo ya lo terminé eso. todo, dos de un solo. Es de seleccionar las dos respuestas. Ajá, sí. Ajá dos respuestas correctas. Ahí. Sí, son dos por cada pregunta. Okay. Okay. Dos significa lo mismo prácticamente. En el sí. por ejemplo, hay una que no agarra ¿no? <ríe> Perdón. Ok, no se porque vamos a chequear. Eh, Revisen tomorrow. puntos y coma porque eso también me causó problemas. Oh, yo también hago eso, pero no lo hago. Ok. So, ¿Estamos claros con las tareas? Yeah. Ok. Yes, teacher. So, yeah. Let us see Wonder tomorrow, show. people. Let's see tomorrow. tomorrow. Hey, good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.